the other question is how does the process differ um, when you're when you're writing nonfiction as opposed to when you're writing fiction? And I think the process probably does differ a good deal, but I should probably begin by saying that I write so little nonfiction that I'm probably not the right person to ask. But, but since you were so kind uh, um, as, to, as to mention, I wrote a, a couple of years ago um, the afterword for um, a book called She's Not There. Um, the book was written uh, by a dear friend of mine, Jenny Boylan, and it was about her, um, uh, well, it was about a lot of things. But, any, but anyway, um, it was, um, uh, it was a difficult piece to write, I can tell you that. Um, um, Jenny was um, at, at, you know, for the, for the first 10 years of our acquaintance, Jenny Boylan was Jim Boylan, and this, is, this was the story of, of her uh, transition from, from male to female. And I wrote, um, I wrote the afterword to that book. Um, and is, and, but the question is, is, is about process. Um, not so much what did it feel like to write that, but what is, what is the, how does the process differ? And I suspect that the process differs most in that in writing nonfiction, you can't allow yourself that kind of freedom. I, I, think, of, I think of writing the afterword to Jenny's book as, as more akin to writing a, short, a, a piece of short fiction, a short story, because that's the kind of thing that you can kind of imagine whole. A short story, you're not going to imagine it in all of its details, but because it's short enough, it can, be, it can be held in some way in the mind. Even if you don't know everything about it, you have a sense of its beginning, perhaps its middle, its end. Um, and when I begin a novel, I probably don't know anything about it except perhaps its beginning, and I give it a kind of freedom to make of itself what it will. I think in writing nonfiction, of course, you simply can't do that. There are certain, there are certain parameters. Um, and so when I'm writing nonfiction, I tend to go in the other direction. I, I, I ask myself maybe, all right, what's the primary emotion? What do I want people to come out of this with? Or what's the primary thing that I learned about this experience of my best friend? Um, and it was, a, it was a very male friendship um, turning into something else. And so, as a result of that, you begin with something like, I suppose, what you teach students give, to give them some sort of sense of how writing works when they're, uh, when they're in high school, is to begin with, to say to them, well, it would be good to have a thesis, you know? What, 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 do you have an idea here? And try that idea out and see where, see where it goes. You're still going to discover things that you have to do differently with the structure and things are going to surprise you and, and, and all of that. But I think with, with nonfiction, the freedom, um, the total freedom of imagination that you have and that you're cultivating at the beginning of a novel is something that you're not going to feel there. You have to leave yourself open to imagination. Um, and even that piece that I wrote for the end of Jenny's book is a story. I mean, it's the story, it's the story of my learning about what Jenny was going through, and it's also the story of my accompanying um, then Jim's wife to Nina, where the surgery was going to be done. Um, but that story was interrupted with, with certain kind of philosophical arguments and other. I had a sense as I began that piece what those elements were going to be and, and, what, um, and what emotion I wanted people to come out the other end of that story with. So I, I guess in writing nonfiction, you have to start out knowing more than when you, when you begin a novel. Well, you can begin a novel knowing next to nothing. And it's, and it's, and it's for me at least, not a big deal. Um, I don't think you can begin nonfiction knowing next to nothing. You, 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 you better know a good big chunk of it and then be open in terms of imagination to the rest that you don't know and that you will discover in the, in the rest. Does that answer your question? Yes. Okay.